Hey you, I'm celebrity menswear stylist, Ashley Weston. So what men's wardrobe essential do you think of when I say the words cool, carefree, timeless, sexy, and rebel without a cause? You guessed it, or at least you read the title of this video. It's the denim trucker jacket. So in this video, I'm gonna outline everything you need to know about your new favorite jacket, including different colors, how it should fit, and of course, how to wear it. So why exactly do you need a denim trucker jacket? Well, to look sexy. Duh. Kidding, kidding, but not really though. When we think of denim jackets, we tend to think of rock stars and celebrities, but you really don't need to have a motorcycle riding or guitar shredding abilities to be able to pull one off. Honestly, they work on guys of all ages and most body types, provided that you A, nail the fit, and B, wear it in a way that aligns with your own personal sense of style. Speaking of style, have I mentioned how surprisingly versatile these bad boys are? A good denim trucker jacket will allow you to create dozens of rugged yet stylish outfit combinations that will work for so many different social situations, from Friday night on the town to Sunday brunch with mom. Also, they're super low maintenance, durable, cost-effective, lightweight, great for layering, and they're as popular today as they were when first unleashed. Also, the more you wear them, the better they look. So, convinced yet? Shut up and take my money. I thought so. So when exactly can you wear a denim trucker jacket? Okay, so I gotta admit that though it isn't as warm as a parka or a peacoat, it does provide you with so many layering possibilities and works with everything from plain white tees to merino wool sweaters. So this makes it perfect for the fall, the spring, and even those chilly summer evenings. However, if it's raining, then it really should not be the first jacket you reach for. In fact, it probably shouldn't even be in the top five, as it's not waterproof or wind resistant. This means that if you're living somewhere particularly wet, like Texas, the UK, Ireland, or Helm's Deep, then you may not have a lot of opportunities to wear your denim jacket. Now, if you want something for the winter months, then there is a warmer denim jacket on the market that is worth checking out. It's the Shearling Denim Jacket, guaranteed to keep you feeling warm and looking hot. It's not exactly waterproof, but it will definitely keep you cozier than an unlined version. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the wash of your trucker jacket. So wash is basically just another word for the shade of denim. Now, if this is your first denim trucker jacket, then I'd recommend going for a light to medium blue wash. The reason why is that this color is definitely the most versatile and you can even pair it with your dark wash jeans. And yes, you heard it right, denim on denim is permitted, provided that there is a significant contrast between the lighter and darker shades. Now, we just wanna make sure that we're breaking the outfit up enough color-wise so that it doesn't end up looking like a Canadian tuxedo. Now, a darker denim jacket can also work quite well, but bear in mind, it is less versatile, meaning it really only looks best with chinos or wool trousers instead of jeans. And gray or black denim jackets, especially when worn with other black pieces, are another great alternative to leather jackets. And they have a more manly and rugged aesthetic that say a traditional bomber jacket won't have, which because it's more sleek. I mean, I'm so sorry, bomber jackets. I still love you. Finally, you should always avoid jackets with intentional distressing and pre-sewn patches. In fact, let's just apply this rule to every item of clothing in your wardrobe, okay? Next up, when choosing a denim jacket, I cannot overstate the importance of nailing the fit. And you first need to ensure that your jacket isn't too baggy or too tight if you want to create that masculine silhouette. So your perfect fit should have the shoulder seam of the jacket hitting right where your shoulder ends and the bottom of the jacket sitting at around your hips. Anything higher creates a more feminine look. And make sure it fits comfortably over one of your sweaters when trying one on just to ensure you have the perfect amount of room for layering. Also, the sleeves. They should reach right around the bend of your wrist or ever so slightly past it. And if you are a heavier set guy on the shorter side, so think 
five foot six and below, and you typically wear maybe a size large or above, then sizing with this jacket could be an issue. So the reason why is that in order to accommodate your broader shoulders, the length of the jacket and the sleeves will more than likely be too long. So this is will only accentuate your shorter height and heavier build even further, which is something we do not want. Now, if you cannot find a denim jacket that fits your shape correctly, then opt for a bomber jacket as it will look not only stylish, but better balance out your proportions. Now, here's one final quick tip for when buying your first jacket. So if you decide to opt for raw denim, which you really don't have to do nowadays, it's gonna be pretty stiff. So as soon as you get home, put it straight into the cold wash on regular cycle before air drying. This is gonna help break up that stiffness in the fabric. And as a result, it will sit better on your body, shoulders, and arms. Now, remember that the more you wear your denim jacket, the better it's going to look and age and feel over time. Just don't sleep in it. <laughs> So you've officially decided to buy your first denim jacket. Congratulations! Now let's discuss the fun part, putting your outfits together. First up, we have the classic combo of a trucker jacket worn with a plain or minimal t-shirt underneath. So these timeless pieces just look so good together and can be worn with jeans, chinos, wool trousers, as well as so many different shoe combinations. Now, if you really want to elevate that relaxed rock star look to sophistication, swap out the t-shirt for an Oxford shirt and voila! You now have the perfect casual alternative to that classic sports coat and dress shirt look. Next up, layers. All right, so denim jackets were made for layering. That is why they are a great item for the cooler months. Feel free to layer your jacket over t-shirts, sweaters, flannels, and casual button downs. Throwing a denim jacket over a hoodie would definitely fit into the relaxed category and will give you still a stylish but relaxed look. Now, the main layering rule to follow is that you'll always want to layer from the thinnest fabrics out to the thickest. Now, if you're not feeling the denim on denim, then pair your denim jacket with your favorite chinos instead. So chinos are the perfect alternative to jeans and look just as good. You could also partner your new jacket up with a pair of wool trousers to give more sophisticated look. Now, here are some color combinations to play with depending on the color of your chosen trucker jacket. So first, if you opted for a light wash denim version, it's gonna go great with either dark wash jeans or chinos in any of the fall colors like brown, navy, olive, burgundy. Add in a simple plain colored tee, some chukka boots, and maybe, you know, a pumpkin spice latte, and you are officially ready for the fall. So if you go with a darker denim jacket, it's gonna look best with your trusty chinos, but know that you can also wear them with thicker wool pants. Now, in terms of jeans, pairing them with white or black jeans could also work. Now, if you decide to go with a light gray denim jacket, th this one's gonna be a little less flexible when pairing with pants, so you really need to make sure you're choosing the right ones. Basically, you wanna go for black. Black jeans, black chinos, black wool trousers. Now you can pair it up with a plain black or white t-shirt and some black Chelsea boots, and you might even get mistaken for a rock star now. So when it comes to matching your denim jacket with shoes, sneakers will always give your outfit that more relaxed look, while lace-up boots have a more rugged, tougher vibe. Nevertheless, if you're hunting for something sharper, then why not try a pair of chukkas, penny loafers, or oxfords? Just remember, my footwear rules. No white socks, no open-toed sandals, and no questioning either of those rules. There we have it. Thank you guys for watching. See you all in the next one. Bye.